So I asked on my Instagram about the most common problem which all of you watching this video must already have faced or are facing right now which is the wastage of water due to overflow of the overhead water tank and I got a lot of solutions for it from your side. But I made something really very different, something very simple project that really serves the purpose and I made that without touching the wires of the motor, without opening the overhead water tank and without even opening this switch board. Well, you may laugh at first while looking at that project, but hey, it really serves the purpose and solve the problem, at least in my case. So before showing you that basic electronic project, let's first go through the solution that you all have suggested and that you all are already using. So majority of people are using this floating switch type device in their water tank which is a nice solution for this problem. Let me explain how it works. So basically it's kind of a switch that is connected in series with the motor and the switch get closed and open based upon the position of the metal ball which is inside the plastic casing. So when the tank is empty, the plastic case moves down and the metal ball inside the casing pushes the lever which turns on the switch in it which ultimately turns on the motor. And when the tank is full, the case floats in the water and the metal ball inside it goes away from the lever which makes the switch turn off and ultimately this turns off the motor. Now as there is no metal part directly touching to the water, it is corrosion free and it lasts way longer than the other solution available in the market. Then one of my followers made a DIY project to solve this problem in which he dipped couple of electrodes in the overhead water tank and what he did is as soon as the tank gets filled up the buzzer will start buzzing and will let everyone in the house know that the water tank is almost filled. Turn off the switch. Now this solution is more on the safer side as we are not directly interacting with the actual motor pump rather we are you know making everyone alert that their uh, tank is full and turn off the switch but as this project uses the electrodes dipped inside the water tank there are chances that those electrodes may get corroded and the project stop working on a longer run but he shared that he's using this project since four years now and it's perfectly working so yeah a nice project to save a lot of water and a lot of power wasted moving ahead one of my followers shared a really interesting concept for this particular problem in which he attach a water flow sensor in the overflow pipe which is further extended to the garden so there is no water wasted at all and also one solenoid valve was connected in series with that motor pump so based upon the signal received by that water flow sensor in the overflow pipe the solenoid pipe can directly turn off and it can save a lot of power and a lot of water this is a really nice concept as there is no such electrodes or there's no such thing uh, inserted inside the water tank everything was done inside the pipe side and the motor side. Now what happens is in all the solutions we need to make the connection between the overhead tank and the water pump at the ground floor. Now what happens is if I talk about my house then I have a three story bungalow and if I need to you know use any of the solution I need to make the connections between that water tank at the third floor and the water pump which is at the basement and it will be a really very hectic task isn't it so I didn't went for any of such solutions so now let me discuss the problem in a bit detail here so in my house turning on the water pump is no issue because there is always at least one person inside the house who can turn on the motor who can turn on the water pump the problem here is the person forgets to turn off the motor which results in the water and the power wastage so turning off the motor is the actual problem and one of my follower made a really very simple and to the point solution for this particular problem <laughs> let me share that project with you so basically he used a wi-fi board and added a couple of push buttons and relay in the pcb and what he did is he noted the time the water pump takes to completely fill the tank so he shared that it generally takes 12 to 13 minutes to fill the tank from 0 to 100 percent so what he did is he made a project in which we can just press a push button and the relay will turn on the motor for that particular time period and after that the motor will get automatically turned off and we can also access those buttons via a web page as well as it is a wi-fi based board now i think this is the simplest solution we can make to solve this major problem it was great right we don't need to insert anything inside the water tank we no need to extend the wires from the water tank to the pump but still solve the problem of water and power wastage so i started thinking of more simple solution in this direction so i'll need some time to think about it till then do watch out a positive ad
Do you know what most electronic companies have something in common? Well, it's the tool that they use for making their products and the most commonly used tool that almost all the big electronic companies uses is the LTM PCB designer software. Using LTM, you can definitely level up your PCB designing skills and make something really professional out of it. And now along with the integration of Octopart, searching for any electronic components globally becomes really very easy. Octopart is kind of Google for just electronic components where you can search for any electronic parts and get their information all on one single web page. So do check out this amazing search engine made just for electronic components. I'll leave the link for this down in the description. Do check it out. So while thinking, I got the idea from one of my very old project in which I use a servo motor to turn on and off the switch. So I thought, why not to use this particular technique in this project so that we no longer need to open the switchboard and no longer need to interact with those AC wires at all. So I started making this project in this particular direction. So here I use the Node MCU board, a push button, a rotary switch, and a servo motor for this project and made the connections of all of them according to this connection diagram. Now after that, first of all I tested the perfect angle of the servo motor to turn on and off the switch. I tested different angles to make sure that the servo motor is not too hard or too soft to the switch. So after finalizing the angle, I wrote a simple code in which we can set the timer using the rotary switch and after setting the timer, we can press the push button to turn on the switch via servo motor and after the particular time period, the servo motor will automatically turn off the switch and after that the board will go inside the deep sleep mode to save the power. So that was all about the code side as well. Now after finalizing everything, we inserted the hardware inside a black box and on the top we adjusted the rotary switch and also labeled the timer for that. Now after that we attached that black box near to the switchboard and also stick that servo motor near to the switch using a strong and durable double sided tape. Now everything seems pretty good. Let's test this project in action. Okay, so it is working pretty well and it is helping me to save a lot of water and a lot of power as well. Now here as I use a Node MCU board, in future I can also you know, modify the code to add a web interface to this project so that I can control the servo motor using the mobile application. Well, do share your reaction to this particular project down in the comments of the video and also share about which of the solution discussed in this video you like the most. Share your thoughts in the comments of the video the comment section is open for the discussion so yeah that was all about the project and the solution of the problem i was facing i hope you like this project i hope you like this video if is it so do click the like button and yeah that being said i am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video then explore learn share with me techie sms